What's up, YouTube? It's Monday. It's a great day. My tethered phantom just came in. Never used one. First timer. I'm going to take you guys through it. So I just got it unboxed. It all comes actually pretty nice individually. My tether there comes in a nice package. Lineman belt. That's the Predator platform. And that there is the actual saddle itself, which I haven't opened yet. So we'll get to unboxing some of the stuff and get set up in the tree and. Uh, See if we can't figure out how it works. Like I said, I've never used it personally myself, so it's going to be a uh, bit of a learning curve, but I don't think it will make for a good review. All right, so let me show you guys how this thing's going to work. Um, the main reason I wanted to get one, first of all, is uh, just mobility. I'll be able to go anywhere I want, lighter, faster, quieter. Um, so let me show you how to get on the stand on the tree itself. It's, if you've ever used a regular tree stand, a hang on stand or anything like that, it uses the same uh, basic mechanics. So let me slap this on for you. Get that nice and tight, cam it over. So that's your platform. Um, you can use any method, obviously, you want to get in the tree. I'm probably going to be using sticks. Um, a lot of people, if it's going to be a permanent stand, just uh, have tree pegs and just bring their, uh, their saddle with them in and out or like stationary steps up in the tree. Some people I know just do that, but totally up to you, which is nice. So this is the actual saddle itself. Um, let me show you how easy this is to put on. So, start with it like this. And then it has just a simple regular buckle, pant buckle. Tighten it up. Then you go underneath and they hook right up to these orange straps on the sides. So now you're pretty much ready to go. So the other good thing I like about this system is I was one of those per I was one of those guys that never used to wear a tree harness for whatever reason. Probably should. Definitely know I, I should have always had one, but I just never did. So with this new system, I'm always gonna be tied to the tree. Um, so let me show you guys the linesman belt. Screen rope right here. Everything's color coordinated too, which is nice. Um, this is gonna help you get up the tree. So we're gonna pretend that that's not even there and that we're going up the tree from our steps. So, you're going to put your first stick on the tree, get up your, your first stick, as high as you can get, take your linesman's belt, going to hook it to that loop, hook it to your other loop, and you can adjust. So now, I'm free to use both hands 
the whole time. I can go another stick above me, have you know both hands access to do whatever I need to do. It's fully adjustable. Once I go from my first stick up to my second stick, I just stand up, throw the rope up, and shimmy my way up the tree. So we're going to do this process all the way till we get to the top where your tree stand is. Once you're in the top where your tree stand is, you're not going to take this off until you get your tether on. But for this video purpose, I'm obviously not 20 feet in the tree. So, the final piece of the equation is your actual tether. Let me bring the camera up just a bit. So the final thing is the tether. I'm gonna go a little bit over your head so you can find where you're comfortable at and stuff. You go around the tree. As I said, at this moment, I would still have my linesman's belt on until I got this hooked up to my bridge. So, now I've got this hooked onto my bridge. Screw that on. And now, I'm pretty much ready to hunt. Pull up my bow, get all my stuff up, um, and this is going to be your final sit. Some people like to stand like this, um, I know some people that like to wear knee pads and they'll just lean into the tree like this. Um, you know, you're going to find your, your comfortability setting, you know, just playing around with this stuff. Some people like to be a little bit lower. Some people like to stand almost straight up. But the luxury about this not only being so lightweight and mobile that I love is that I have almost any shot from the tree. Um, you know, if if I've got a deer on this side of the tree and I need to swing around, I can just very slowly kneel into the tree, get drawn back in that shot. If I have one coming on this side, so I'm a right-handed bow hunter, so we'll call this your weak side. You're just going to simply stand up, spin like this. Now I have that whole side and I'm still connected to the tree across my chest. Um, so theoretically you're going to want to be setting up where you think the deer is going to come by on your left side if you're right handed or your right side if you're left handed. And that way you always have the tree in between you and the animal. So if I see a deer coming down, you know, and, he, and he's moving it, you know, I've got this is probably a 15 inch wide tree. I've got 15 inches to try to get drawn back without him seeing me. And then I can just slowly turn to make the shot. The other thing I've noticed too is just movability on these trees in the saddle. It, I found it's super easy. If you want to swing left around the tree, just bend your left leg. And it will slowly bring you into the tree until you hit the tree. And then you can go I mean, God, you can go all the way around the tree if you want. You can go all the way to here. So, same thing with the other side. So, super versatile. I love it. I haven't hunted out of it yet. This is going to be my first year hunting out of it. This is only my second time sitting in it, and I'm already super comfortable in it. So, it's been really quick and easy getting used to. Um, th this one is made by Tethered, as I said earlier. So, if you guys are interested, definitely go check them out. Awesome company. Really good reviews on their products and excellent customer service. So you should definitely check them out. And uh, we'll see you in the woods.